Welcome back everyone. This is Frank Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar. In a few more hours, uh, we'll be doing Field Day uh, 2022. And I've been waiting for this um, transceiver for about three weeks. And I finally found one at the Anaheim uh, Ham uh, Radio Outlet. HRO, which is um, pretty cool because uh, Janet, who works there, said that they might get some. I went on Friday, and sure enough, they 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 were there. And if you ever want to work with a great uh, person who knows a lot about um, ham radio, uh, just ask for her help and she will be willing to speak to you until she meets your needs. Um, I, really, I really do like um, that she takes her time um, and not in a rush to sell you something. Okay, and there are more people in there at Anaheim that do that as well, but I've had great experience with her. So, this is the IC7100. Uh, apparently, it's um, the menu system, sort of, is close to the 7300. We'll find out. Um, so, why get a 7100, right? Um, the 7300 tends to be maybe for the home. Uh, usually, it's not portable. The IC705, usually that one you is portable and you can take it in different places. Of course, it's um, a QRP rig. And this one seems to be more common in the car. Not to say that you can also use it for the home, because it's kind of like one of those all-in-ones. Kind of like a 991A, right? It has HF, VHF, and UHF. Of course, the, uh, the specifications, uh, you can easily look those up. This is just an open, you know, opening the box, just trying to... Uh, find out what's what's in here um, and my first impression because I haven't seen an IC7100 uh, live yet. Okay, let's find out. Let's open the box. I've uh, read that it has two manuals. Uh, a basic one and a, of course, more advanced. Uh, you got your warranty card. I'm so glad that they still give you, you know, a manual that's paper. All right. Okay, let's see what's inside. Okay. So, I've read that this cable is uh, the same cable and the same connection as the 7300, which is very important, very useful. And this looks very long. That's good because we want the base to be somewhere hidden in the car. Um, and maybe the power source might be farther from it. So that's cool. Uh, uh, it comes with the USB cable. That's nice. Uh, to maybe to do programming. I don't know. But it comes with it. And... Aha! Uh -huh. So in the videos that I've seen, this cable looks very short, but this looks pretty long. This almost looks like six feet, probably. Now this is the cable that goes from the base to the to the um, to the face, I guess, or the um, I'm, not, I'm not sure what they call it. I haven't read the manual, but it's the 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 control panel, the face, the face panel. Uh, not so the the base and the face <laughs> need to be connected somehow this is the cable and you can see it, it has some shielding on it so that's nice it comes with it there's no bracket apparently there's uh um, nowadays they don't sell you a lot of stuff like that which is very um some very it's unfortunate uh, some people think that well it's not necessary um, this is probably that the face. Um, maybe I should read a little bit. Let's see. 
Let me let me find out what it's called. It's called the controller, apparently. So the controller, the front panel, right? It's in here. We'll look at that later. Okay. The base should be here. It's nicely old school type cardboard and setup here. I like it. Okay. The box is relatively heavy and the box is not that big, actually. It is because it, it needs to protect the radio and all that, but I thought it was going to be bigger. Whoa, this is heavy. <laughs> okay. I didn't expect it to be heavy. And this is not very big. Wow. This is very interesting. Um, so this is, um, this is not that heavy. Um, it's crazy. It's definitely mm, smaller than the 7300. Uh, it has icon over here. This is cool that has an SD card so that you can record your um, QSOs. And it has the power um, for the controller, for your microphone, that's cool, USB, some other connections, the ground, and antenna one and antenna two. Which one's which? I don't know. I should label them. I'll read. And I think this is for the, the tuner. That's really nice. It has nice little feet. Um, and it has the, the screws here so you can um, mount it somewhere. This is really nice. I didn't expect it to be this small and I thought, and it's hefty. For it to be HF, UHF, and v, VHF, and, and again, and this is 10 year old technology. Can you imagine what they can do today? A much slimmer unit, something that can really blow people away. I mean, look at Kenwood. Kenwood is out of the picture now. Kenwood uh, apparently is not going to make any more radios. Mm, that's what uh, somebody was telling me. It's pretty sad if that's true. I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, ooh, what's in here? This is the, aha, this is the controller. Interesting, they give you a um, a choke and a cable, a series plug, and they give you some fuses. Very nice. Okay. Ah, the microphone. Look at that. Apparently, this microphone is not as great as other microphones. Uh, so, we did purchase a different microphone. We're not going to use this one. That's one of the things that people didn't like. Um, and the controller. Wow. Wow. Not very heavy. Okay. This is very interesting. It's not very heavy. <laughs> Which is good because I'm going to mount this where I usually mount my HT in the car. This is going to be for mobile. Yeah, this is very, very light. Uh, as you can see, you have the uh, main unit, or you connect, um, this has a shielding. Um, this connects to the, to the um, base, and this is where your microphone goes. And then it has other things here. Oh, a phone jack, look at that, that's nice. And then it has uh, for a key. Hmm. Very interesting. And these feet apparently will go out. Yep, they do go out. That's nice. I think it does. Yes, it does. Very nice. And then uh, phones and speaker switch. So I guess it won't blast you. This is cool because this has a quarter 20. This is nice. Because you can put it on a tripod. <sighs> I mean, pretty smart. Uh, for 10 year old technology, I'll tell you that. Um, well, the dial, the dial feels uh, pretty solid, uh, it's clicky, uh, it's different, the buttons, uh, they're okay, they're, they feel nice, nothing like 1980s 
like an HP 48SX um, calculator buttons, but respectable, very nice. And then these, eh, these feel a little, this one looks nice. This, this, this one feels almost like the one that you get on your HTs, very clicky. This one, eh, you know, doesn't feel super high quality. And we'll see how, I've heard these things are pretty well built. So we'll give the benefit of the doubt. Um, Cause this, uh, this one doesn't feel super nice. Definitely you feel a difference in the quality of the buttons compared to an IC705. But again, this stuff is not recent, right? This wasn't built, you know, three, four years ago. The, this type of technology was built 10 years ago. And I'm really, really am interested to know, right, if, um, if you can hear those signals that are weak, right? People, people have said that this has very good um, ability to hear those weak signals. I will find out. I mean, the IC, I was so impressed on the IC705 and the 7300 with their, um, you know, their, their uh, digital type, um, um, type of radios. Um, but this technology is different, different. And thus, um, we'll see how the quality of weak signals uh, appear. Definitely using a headphones is going to help. Okay, I hope uh, you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Thank you everybody for supporting this channel. And pretty soon I'll have uh, more videos for you. This is Frank Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar.